Hello everyone and welcome again to another video of Basic Fishing. It has now been two years since I've been sponsored by Black Magic Tackle and they have been giving me a great support over my videos. Not to mention I've been able to capture some epic moments of the Black Magic gear as well. But speaking of videos, I hope everyone has been enjoying the upload so far. Over the years before the sponsorship, I had used many different tackle ranges, but Black Magic was no doubt one brand that I grew up using and caught many fish with, especially of the Sabiki rigs. Now things are even better since my favorite tackle brand has been supporting my channel for the past two years. So I wish to create a video where I talk about my favorite gear I use from Black Magic Tackle. Now for those who are new, welcome to my channel, where I do a series of different fishing styles in basic ways, so make sure to check out my other videos, but for those who have been coming here frequently, hope you'll enjoy this video. Now the first item to start off is the Black Magic Hook Remover Tool. Now this is a tool that I only got recently, but I found it to be super handy to have, especially when handling with a um, toothy fish, but also helps in removing the hook from a tough jawed fish like a snapper, which can make unhooking them such a hassle, and also helps in tying your gear as well. But the hook removal tool also gives you a safety range as well. Here with pliers, it was really tricky because I had to get a little bit uncomfortably close to the shark's mouth. Whereas the hook remover tool, I was able to um, unhook the shark at a safe distance. I mean, see the comparison of the plier footage and the hook remover. Definitely a tool I would recommend for anyone, especially when you run into an uncomfortable situation like this one here. Or if the fish's lips are too gummy or too bony to get the hook out. And for your information, the shark didn't bleed internally, so that was a really good thing. The next item is the bait buddy. Now I do a lot of surf casting and I've been using many bait elastics, but never much cottons before. But I found the bait buddy to be quite useful, mainly because one is the bait buddy is a soft silky cotton and the advantage of this is that although you are tying the bait onto the hook the soft silky texture keeps the bait soft making it feel more natural for any fish that are sometimes a bit wary i use the bait buddy mainly on soft baits such as shellfish baits which always keeps the bait on extremely well another benefit is that the silk will absorb the juices from the bait so Sometimes, the fish might chew on the leftovers and will accidentally get hooked, but this has yet to happen to me. The next item is the Tough Trace. Definitely lives up to his name, I mean I had a scenario where a school shark swallowed the hook and was biting against the line, but the line still held on which was quite a sight to see. Another thing I enjoy using the Tough Trace for is my shock leader for surf casting. The diameter is thinner compared to usual mono leader which makes it ideal to make my shock leader due to the thinner diameter, which also means a smaller knot profile. Also comes in great quantity so when you lose a leader or your rigs, you have plenty to go about before you run out and that will take several trips until you run out. Plus, it's a great trace to have when you want to create your own rigs in a hurry. Now the next item is the fluorocarbon leader. Now the fluorocarbon has been great for freshwater as the thin profile and the fact that it can turn invisible on the water has made a huge difference in getting those carp, perch, tench, rudd and trout. For specific species like piper, the fluorocarbon had made a huge difference as well. Not to mention the elusive perori, which can be tricky to target, but great to catch when the snappers aren't around the wolves. However, I recently started using the fluorocarbon for surf casting, and at first it was very different, but I was able to see the benefit through using it. 
Not to mention, I was able to land my personal biggest trevally with the setup too. Whatever the case is, I'm definitely going to be using more of the fluorocarbon for salt water now. Unlike the flexibility that Mono Leader has, which sometimes can cause problems, the stiffness of the fluorocarbon definitely provides extra stability on the rig, especially in rough conditions. So it's definitely one advantage I was able to gain with this rig, especially the fact that I do a lot of surf casting in rough waters. Now the next item is the KL and the KLT recurve hook. The KL is the hook that is used to create the flasher rigs, and when I first used them, they were quite impressive. But when I had a look at the hook itself, I was surprised to see how light gauge they were, but they were very sharp. But then, when the KLTs were released around a year or two ago, that was a huge improvement. I still enjoy using the KL hooks, but I find the KLT to be far more superior as not only is it powerful, but it's also rust resistant thanks to a special coating and I was able to land so many good fish with this hook. Also goes well with the pre-made snapper snacks. And did I mention that the KLT hooks are super strong? I mean, come on! Who else has landed a 85 centimeter kingfish that weighed around 7 kilos on a one barrel KLT hook on the smallest live bait in the world? Now that was my personal best moment ever from the wharf. The KL or the KLT hook is also ideal to have because as the name suggests, recurve hook, it always hooks the fish at the corner of the mouth. And that is really important because, well, one, it's fish friendly because by having the um, hookup 90% of the time at the corner of the mouth, it means that you can able to um, release the undersized fish or an unwanted species without hurting it too much. So that's one benefit of having the recurve hooks. Now the next item is the DX point hook. Now the DX point hook was something that I now use because like the KLT hook, it has a special coating that prevents rusting, but also the coating has a more slipping effect which makes the hookup on the fish more effective. But I decided to use this hook just to see how I'll do off the beach, and funny enough, that was how I was able to land my PB Trevally from the beach. Just like that, which was quite epic and awesome. Also works great on snapper as well. Only problem with this hook is that the fish can swallow it and unhooking it can be a bit of a pain. Now the next items are series of pre-made rigs. Now Black Magic is famous for its pre-made rigs, all constructed here in New Zealand, but they create much more rigs other than the flashes, and here are a few that I had used from them. Now to start this off, I have been using many of the um, Sabiki rigs for many years and they've always been a great rig to use, especially when I was first starting out fishing and I caught many good fish with them. The one rig that I have been using since childhood and still use today is the uh, bait catcher wasabi. This is no doubt one of my most favorite Sabiki rigs to use when I wish to target some bait fish. In fact, during childhood, this sabiki helped me in getting more experience on catching fish, which then helped me in understanding in more on the catching side of things, which gave me more confidence in my fishing during the early days. Eventually, after years on using bait on my sabiki, I then started to use them in a way that they were supposed to be used, jigging them up and down without bait, and that got me really addicted in using the sabiki even more. The Black Magic Pink Shrimp Sabiki is also one of my most favorite where it had always produced me the tricky pipers. When I first used it in 2005, I caught so many at once it was awesome and since then it became my favorite number one piper rig to use. Plus it's also good for um, catching macro as well. Now the next pre-made rigs, the flasher rigs and the snapper snack. Now the pre-made rigs were something that took me a while to get confidence in, but back then I was still learning on how to get better at fishing. 
They all come in different colors and hook sizes, giving many people options to choose from, especially on the style of fishing they do. But when it comes to using flasher rigs, my favorite color or the color that worked for me is the um, Snapper Terra, the Gurner Grabber, or even the Classic. And even the Anchovy color also worked out for me as well. And for the snapper snack that is relatively new to the market, the patterns I found to be successful is the tiger... Um, uh, I can't say the other word, but I'll just say the name below. And the pink color, which caught me my uh, biggest snapper ever. What I found cool about the snapper snacks was the lumo skirts, which always improves your catch rate whenever the water is murky or if the light is low. And just like the um, flasher rigs, this rig will catch everything too. Ideal to use when you want to start fishing or just want to catch anything to be satisfied with. Now the next item, the long cast rig. Great pre-made rig created specifically for surf casting. I had used this rig many times when wanting to get that extra distance and definitely helped me a lot. Combined with the bait buddy, it's a great combination. Just like the flash rig comes in different size and colors. All of these pre-made rigs are great, especially when you're starting off for the first time. Or if you don't understand the rig and if you want to fish in a hurry. Or if you're not good at tying your rigs. Okay, so the other item that I need to mention is the Brag Mat. The Brag Mat is such a great item that Black Magic was kind enough to send to me. I definitely use this whenever I get the chance to land a very good fish like the kingfish that I landed from the wharf or any um, personal biggest fish I've landed. The th good thing about this mat is that in case the fish was small, I can wet the mat to ensure that the fish itself doesn't get damaged while measuring it. I mean, I would still recommend it as you don't want to get any slime getting stuck on your measure mat and get <laughs> very smelly. Plus, it's good practice as well. And the numbers are big, which allows you viewers to see how large the catches can be. Now, the other item is the Slim Jig. When I was out on my Kingfish expedition, the Slim Jig was no doubt my favorite jig to use for the Kingfish as I didn't have to work it fast but slowly instead and was still able to land some good fish and not to mention land my personal biggest kingfish which weighed 10 kilos, my first fish that weighed over 20 pounds. Well, that in saying that I mean the edible species, whereas the inedibles like sharks and rays, easily over 10 kilos. So with this jig you can either work it fast or slowly and personally I prefer the slow action due to the fact that it still works and also Reserves from having to use too much energy so when the fish strikes, you still have enough energy to fight the fish. Now, the next item is the swivels. The wasabi snap swivel and the rolling swivels are pretty much my must-have essential for fishing as I pretty much use them in all of my fishing. The snap swivel I use to connect to my rigs to my main line and holds up really well even against the big fish in a peeling drag and the rolling swivel not only um, can withstand impressive strength but also prevents the um, line twist from happening too which often can be a bit of a hassle to deal with. Also I use the rolling swivels to replace the swivels that comes with pre-made uh, spinner baits due to the fact that it's strong, doesn't rust easily, and is able to rotate freely so avoids line twist. Now there are more tackles that Black Magic has been kind enough to um, give to try out, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get much luck out of them, although I did come close many times, especially with those trout lures. I mean, they do work, don't get me wrong, especially the fact that I got some hookups with them but wasn't able to land them. Now funny enough, I did hook on to a uh, fish on one of the lures but couldn't exactly land it but it's still pretty cool to know that the lure works but I guess I'll just have to work extra harder for the trout. The dart spin which I got the chance to use off the boat was great because I was able to land my first ever snapper on a soft bait which was awesome. The short handle net is also something I tried on my freshwater fishing 
and it's definitely something I'll use for my trout fishing. I had caught a few on the perch before on the uh, Spinmax Aztec, which is one of my favorite color because it looks like a rut to me. And let's not forget, I had used many of the Wasabi Tekka ranges too, which were great until I've upgraded to the KLs and KLTs. And of course, there's the um, Shock Leader, Deception Trace, and many more tackles that Black Magic were um, kind enough to send or that I found over the years that I had used and found to be successful. Now, I hope everyone has enjoyed watching this video and if you have, please leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and make sure to check out the Black Magic website and check out all of the different ranges that they have. And hopefully, you'll have a try with some of the Black Magic stuff as well, and hopefully, you'll land some good fish with them like I have. Again, thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.